here for is an exciting event. Uh, it's called the Midwest Croatia Kosovo Exercise Adriatic Thunder. Uh, what it is is a capability exercise to evaluate how well our teams operate in cybersecurity, uh, both on the defensive as well as somewhat on the offensive mimicking of, a, of an advanced uh, threat in the region. Uh, what we do is we're partnering, um, showing our ability to work with one another, work across uh, nations, uh, work across joint uh, environments, and then do it in actual hands-on fashion where you really see ones and zeros um, in the defense of, of critical mission systems and how we do that. So uh, we're here to um, uh, have fun um, as well as to showcase a little bit of our capabilities that we bring to, to a global fight. Well, Minnesota uh, has been a partner with Croatia for 25 years, right? Um, we've been doing cyber exercises or cyber training with the Croatians since at least 2012. Um, this is really the first time uh, we've done a joint exercise with, with Iowa and, and uh, Kosovo from a cyber perspective. Uh, this event come in a, a really special anniversary from us. Uh, this year we are celebrating the uh, 30th anniversary of the Croatian Armed Forces, 1991, uh, when we came up at the beginning of the Homeland War. We are now have this unique opportunity also uh, conducting this exercise in a cyber domain. So this is really, really something unique and special for us. I'm looking forward uh, you, uh, on continuing this kind of exercise in the future. Cyber is, I think, kind of the way of the future. Um, right now, I don't think it's as, as well known in, in studies as it should be. You know, even, even in school, they're just starting to, to create these cyber um, courses, but there's really no formal training that prepares you because you know, things change much faster in this environment. So for me, between military and civilian, um, I spend a lot of time training and researching and learning about new technologies and new capabilities and it's just a never-ending job.